All right. Have I met you? What's yes, your name? Sir. I'm Sergeant Laughlin. I met you one time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. How are you doing? Good. Not much action going on tonight, huh? <laughs> no, no. Everybody's too cold tonight. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I've uh, been meaning to tell your start or your lieutenant that you guys should just stop and talk to me when you see me. You know what I mean? You really should. You guys don't have to run away every time. I'm glad to see that, that you stopped. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I never I see around. you. I was like, man, it's cold out there. But see, make sure he's doing okay. See if you need anything tonight. I mean, I've I've never died. Not even <laughs> one time in my whole life. You know you know, I'm out here watching for you guys. I mean, this is a good spot because there's a plug. Yeah. And yeah. so, like, I can see if you guys go there or, you know, you go to the gas station yeah, or whatever. Up on the hill a little bit. Yeah, so I can kind of see, you know, if you guys do any stops right here, but, um, so, that's why I'm here, but, I mean, Starbucks doesn't care, because I, oh, no, yeah, they I know. know. I, like I said, I just saw it was you as I passed, took me a second to, to click, and I was like, well, let me spin back around, see how he's doing today. Usually so. <laughs> nobody ever stops, you know, I, I've met, um, several of your, of your guys, um, well, Fox, for one, mm -hmm. we, yep. we talk a lot. Yep. Him and I, I don't know if he's told you, but um, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, on, he's on my ship. So yeah, I know he is. Ship. I didn't know that at first, though, because, I mean, it's it's interesting, like, the differences between the sheriffs and the PD. Like, the sheriffs, they immediately get, you know, the next in command there pretty quick a lot of times, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, but the PD doesn't seem to do that, you know? So, like, I don't really see the lieutenants in the, you're a sergeant, right? Yes. Yeah, I don't really see them that much of the PD, you know? And, um, I mean, I think that that's a good way to stay out of trouble. Yeah, absolutely. Personally. You know, when, when I see a gang huddle and the lieutenant's there and the sergeant's there and the corporal's there and the officer's there, I'm like, this is a cover-up. Seriously, that's what I'm thinking. Right. Right away. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay. There's a lot of stripes standing around that car and they're, you know, slapping each other on the butt. But what's really going on, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, so it's good. No, I, I like the PD out here. They've they're pretty, been pretty good. Compared to other departments. Right. But the troopers, you know, actually, you guys could do a lot and still look good compared to the troopers right now. They're <laughs> they're out of control, you know. And, I, and I'll tell you, it's it's mainly about identifying themselves. Right. Right. And um, you guys don't have a problem with that. But um, it does immense damage. Mm -hmm. You know, just one time, like, an officer refusing to identify and walking away like it's a secret does a lot of damage because... Um, it, it makes it look like they're trying to be secret police, right? you know, and um, it shouldn't be that way, actually. Like, if somebody asks you for your name, they're showing interest. Wear the name tags for a reason. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a chance, actually, to, uh, to make a connection because they're already showing interest. You know what I mean? They want to know you. They want to know something about you. And if you walk away, then you're saying that it's a big secret, you know, come and find me if you can't. And it's not easy, actually. Like, with the PD, it's easier because you're definitely at one station. Right. And, you know, it's smaller, so, like, I could show a picture, and pretty soon I'd find out who it was, everybody you know? Knows everybody yeah, but with the troopers, they could be coming from a long way oh, away. Yeah. Yep. You know, there's no... I, I have no idea where they come from, you know? I mean, right. it could be on the other side of Texas and take a road trip. I don't know how they do it in the troopers, but I would imagine they do things like that. Yeah, I know they rotate around sometimes, so they are kind of moving around, so... Oh, yeah? Oh, they don't just like get on the highway and just, just drive across they're, Texas. They're assigned areas, but they do kind of rotate. I don't know, sometimes they go down to the border and then come back to wherever they're assigned, different things like that. So. Right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you're good, I'm gonna go ahead and keep on patrolling around, make sure I'm nobody's getting into anything. Is there any? Is there been any crimes tonight? No, yeah, it's been pretty slow tonight. There really hasn't been much of anything. So. I mean, with the victim. Cold is kind of. Uh, Oh, most people in. you know anything about the break-in at Taco Bell? Uh, I haven't heard much else about it other than that it happened. It was on the opposite shift. Oh, so, it wasn't you. Okay. No, no, we were off that night. That was Lieutenant Rayleigh then and, yeah, Wa and was, Walters. Was that, that and rotation. Yep. All right. Yeah, yeah. No, I've met some warrior officers, but I'm trying to remember who the... Well, Wall. Mm -hmm. I told you about her, though, on that yeah, on yeah. the accident. She was, she was good. She didn't deprive me of any of my rights. She could have stopped me because you guys had that closed. Right. You know what I mean? But, um, and I was glad we talked actually because um, I don't know your understanding of this, but the improved shoulder is different than the highway. 
Right, yeah, we went through all that that day there. On yeah, the but we're on the side of the road, and, you know, <laughs> I didn't know if any of it sunk in, but... Yeah, no, it's it's not the roadway. So. Yeah, it's not. Okay, so, I mean, there's no um, violation. Yeah, I, with Lieutenant Rayleigh and, and Officer Walters now, we've had quite the back and forth, like... I mean, from one to the other, and we've got it straightened out where, like, he thought, Walters thought that it was illegal. Right. Right, but the, you just weren't going to enforce it. But you th could stop and do a welfare check. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's, if somebody's walking down the side of the highway, you need to make sure something's all right. It's not the best place to be walking, but... Actually, it is. It um, has a really wide shoulder. Yes. Okay. Um, there's lots of lights on highways. True. Now, as compared to the Furnage Road, where there's no shoulder... No lights. True. There's also a lot more drunks usually up and down the highway, especially in the middle of the night when it's dark. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying that um, yeah, lighting -wise, it's not yes. a reason to do a welfare check. I mean, you can always do a consensual stop, right. I guess, but yeah, if, they wanna, if they want if they don't want to talk, then they should be able to walk away. Oh, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, any, I think the officers should talk to people. Yeah, I agree. You know, definitely not be scared and, and not be afraid that the people are going to hurt you. Because if you are, then that means you've given them a motive. Right. Otherwise, you wouldn't be worried. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes There's sense. always a motive, right? Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and I think I've heard some things about, like, you're more likely to get hurt by somebody you know than a stranger. More likely. Of course, strangers hurt people, too. That does happen. Yeah. I, I mean, normal, yeah. everyday police officers, not so much. Most people are strangers to us, so... Well, I mean, if you're investigating a, a violent crime, don't you look at the, you want to know who they know, right? I believe that's usually what the detectives do. That's yeah, the first they start with the people that are closest to yeah, you. That are around the scene at the time. Yeah, yeah, or, I mean, if somebody dies, they're going to look at the husband, the wife, the kids, the parents, yeah. the lover. Start from the inside, kind of rule yeah. everything out and then work out. Yeah, you know. So, like, um, with Officer Fox on the very first night, Actually, I'm glad that I never got to talk to any of the supervisors about this. But, and I'm not really making a complaint because I don't do that. Right. Like, I don't go and, and fill out complaints. I've never done it in my life. And I just don't think that anything is worth wasting my time reliving it. But I will talk about it to everybody I see, right? And so, <laughs> um, on the first time I met him, okay, there was a disturbance in the Circle K parking lot. Okay. Of some sort. That's what he called it, a disturbance, right? And um, anyway, he was there, you know, and I walked in the parking lot, and I was about, no, I was farther than this. I was probably on the other side of the table from him, right. you know, and um, and he told me I had to move, right? And, of course, I, I didn't, you know, and I told him I was plenty far enough away, right? And then he told me I needed to move again. And again, I told him that I was plenty far enough away. And again, he told me I needed to move. And again, I told him I was far enough away. And, um, you know, then he settled down and I actually went to a different spot, like where I was, you know, better for me and like better for him, right? Because I'm not really trying to scare any of you guys, you know what I mean? But I'm not trying to stand at the corner exactly either. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're in a public parking lot here. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a little different. Like, I mean, if it was a crime scene, right, you could block off as much area as you want, but you have to block it off. Right. You do have to, like, shut it off to everybody. But when people can drive through yeah. and they can walk around you, but I have a camera and I can't, you know, then I know right away that it's just the camera, right? Right. You know? But then, okay, him and um, Tarowski, isn't he a sergeant too? Yes. Right. See, but he's also his Fox's sergeant, right? No, no. Well, we have two sergeants per shift, and each sergeant's assigned certain officers. So Fox okay, is, okay. is yours. assigned to me. We're both sergeants on the same shift, but we have okay. different officers. Okay. So depending on who's here, you know, technically we're in charge of everyone, but we have certain that are assigned to us. Okay. Well, I had already met him. Am I saying it right, Tarowski? Tarowski. Tarowski. Okay. I would already met him like 20 minutes prior to that. Which was such a coincidence because he was just in a parking lot and I went and deposed him for a minute. Right. But I just had to announce myself when I got to town. But anyway, so then he got, he, Fox called for backup and, and he got there. Right. And then they like moved away from me, right? Which is fine. You know, I can follow to some degree, right? As long as I'm not interfering or something like right. that, right? And then um, 
Tarowski and uh, Fox engaged in a conspiracy in order to block my camera, right? And so they're playing this game of the dance, you know, but like they're a little distance apart so they can cover a large uh, area on the spectrum, right? right? So just a little movement for them actually is a big movement, you know what I mean? Right. And um, I mean, I, thought, I think it's kind of funny because like really I would much rather have a close-up conversation with an officer and I think anybody would really than 30 feet away from something that's like nothing. And, um, you know, but they're talking about the girl's privacy. Okay. And, and she doesn't have a right to privacy when she's in public. But you guys have a duty to protect anything she tells you. Not anything, but some things about her personal information, right? Like if she tells you her name, you don't have a right to go tell me. Right, but if you give her a ticket, then you can tell me what the ticket was for. But you can't give me her name, or her name, or her birthday, right. or her address. Right, personal information. But you know, it's public information if you write a ticket or arrest somebody. Right, but there's a there's a difference, you know. So it's like, yeah, you guys are supposed to protect their privacy from information that they give you, but that doesn't mean that you can deprive one of the people of their right to press in order to protect a right she really doesn't have when she's in public right. she just has I mean the government is not allowed to reveal her her personal information right that's why if right? those information requests they redact out a lot of that stuff yeah and you know in the same thing okay like Officer Fox knows my first name right I told it to him and that was I don't tell everybody right I make people work for it you know <laughs> It's not that it's a big secret. It's just that we got to talk about a few things before we get to that, right? Yeah. And um, and so twice on two stops, he sees me approach, and then he's talking to the whether it's a criminal or whatever it is, I don't know, and he says my name, right? And see right there, that's disseminating my personal information. You see, which is one major reason why I don't like giving my name to a police officer because they just have loose lips and loose lips sink ships I mean you know what I mean I'm the same as anyone else like whereas you guys are, are supposed to protect my my information too right 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 you know I mean certainly like I don't know who's in that car that you've pulled over yeah and you're saying my name right like they might not like it that I'm filming sometimes people don't like it oh, yeah. right I mean you know just like you guys get hurt journalists get hurt too Yep. You know, it's it's dangerous, right? Like, I mean, you guys are obviously anybody that's going to run towards sirens. You know what I mean? That's where the danger is. You know what I mean? So it's dangerous for, for all of us, really. Right. You know, I in this town, I've gotten along pretty well with, with just about everybody. And I like Fox. I'm not really complaining. But I think those are some valid points, what I said, especially about disseminating my information and um, also about the concerted effort to block the camera. That's actually an impediment, and it's a violation of 3815, Section 5, which is um, interference with a public official. But I'm not even sure what, it, what that is. I'd have to look it up. It's but, like uh, interfering with an officer is what it is, and that's what I've often been threatened with, right, is that I'm interfering. You see, but in interfering, you actually have to put an impediment in between you and your, and your job, Right. And so, like, speech is not an impediment, but standing in front of the camera in a concerted effort, that is an impediment, right? Could be, again, just depending on all the circumstances. Yeah, no, I'm not asking you for a, a, a judgment, you know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not writing a complaint. This isn't, you know. Oh, I got you. This isn't that. Like, I don't write complaints. I find them useless. You know, right. there. Well, because I mean, in order to write a good one, you have to relive every detail of it and like make it a good story. And it's like, if it's something you want, I don't want to retell bad incidents. I mean, I will off the top of my head. Like, I'll I'll go through them, you know. But like on paper, that's not how I like to write. Right. I like to write good things, you know, good stories. But I do like to write, but not complaints. I've never done it, not even one time. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't want to spend too much time. Yeah, you're not detained. You're not detained, Sergeant. Um, <laughs> you know, but you don't have any guns, knives, bombs, anything in here. Any evidence that people should know about? No, no, just all the normal standard equipment. <laughs> all right. All right, man. We'll see. You, sure you need water or anything? I got a bottle of water. <laughs>
Uh, I mean, I never argue with people. It's weird I wasn't thinking about water, but uh, it's weird, Sergeant, that um, I walked here from Miami. And um, on my walk, I've learned a few things. And one of them is, is that we cannot see ourselves. Press on. Awesome. Master by the name of Ace. Smoking more than all 50 states. Combined, yeah, right, I gotta stay on the grind. I got no money, so my weed's on my mind. I hit the club, but you know I can't dance. Seven and seven in my cutoff chance. Tied that shirt in my long ass hair. Well, part of how I look makes you think I care. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.